The Browns have agreed to a two-year deal with recently released wide receiver Dwayne Bowe. I'm Kerry Chow, joined by ESPN Browns reporter Jeremy Fowler. Jeremy, what do we know about this new deal so far? Well, they locked up Bowe for, for a two-year contract. Uh, it took time. You know, they were working on terms for almost a week. I mean, this is a guy the Browns made their, really their top target. They knew a lot of the best receivers in free agency were either staying where they were or were going to be unattainable. They felt Bo was the next best thing to really bring one of the worst receiving cores in the league some respectability. This is a guy who's averaged nearly 70 catches a year for eight seasons. Play dropped off last year, but he's still a viable commodity. So the Browns, uh, really from what I've gathered at the beginning of free agency, expected him to be released by the Chiefs and that they were going to go get him. Yeah, you mentioned Bo was one of the top targets of Cleveland. He was released by the Chiefs after signing a five-year, $56 million deal just two years ago. Uh, you mentioned they're hoping for big production, but what kind of production are they expecting from him? Well, I don't think they're expecting a $56 million receiver. Bo's not really that anymore, but he still has some of that ability that earned that money in the first place. You know, he, he just uh, had some problems with drops, but he did play with several different quarterbacks at Kansas City, uh, never really had – a uh, stable situation there. Now he's walking into the Browns quarterback stable, which is just as unstable or even worse. So but, but really this is about credibility, having a guy that's been there that you can put on the outside and to help stretch the field. That's what this team needs. Uh, they have a good slot receiver in Andrew Hawkins. Uh, but beyond that, there's not much there. They brought in Brian Hartline from Miami, but he's very similar to Miles Austin, who they had last year. So uh, really this is arguably the worst receiving core going into free agency. And now they're, you know, among the worst, but getting better. Okay, so I guess that's that's some plus right there. Uh, a Bo was suspended for both violating the league's performance-enhancing drug policy as well as the substance abuse policy. What kind of leash is going is he going to have in Cleveland? Well, the Browns do have experience with something like this, dealing with Josh Gordon, who had several issues in this category. So, uh, really, you know, it, it's one of those things where a Bo had his issue. He was suspended before. Um, or went through that process last year, and so uh, the punishment would get worse, and he could certainly miss some games if it's an issue again. But the Browns, from what I've gathered, have done their due diligence, don't expect any problems with him uh, moving forward in this discussion. ESPN Browns reporter Jeremy Fowler. Thanks so much, Jeremy. No problem. Thank you. For the latest on the Browns, be sure to check out the NFL Nation blog. For Jeremy Fowler, I'm Kerry Chow. Thanks for watching.